Give it up, very first time on stage, Sue Hetherington! Hi, my name's Sue. Uh, I'm about to turn 49 and I'm barren and loving it. <laughs> I'm barren, I've got tumbleweeds rolling down my fallopian tubes. But most of all, I'm barren because I saw what the fuck happened to Bishop at the end of Aliens. <laughs> okay, my friends wonder why I haven't been snapped up. Um, I think it's because I'm loose, but just to be clear, I don't gape, squirt or swallow. <laughs> I've got a big mouth, that's what gets me into trouble. Uh, it's funny though, because when I visited New York uh, when I was 40, um, I found it very easy to control my big mouth and uh, I abdicated my First Amendment rights for fear of the Second Amendment rights. Um, what else am I doing here? Loose lips. Speaking of loose lips, my cousin recently told me that she'd had a labiaplasty. And my first thought was like, well, what the fuck do you do with the extra bits? Do you bang them in your glory box and whip them out on the wedding night? I'm old school. <laughs> I have pubic hair, like Pauline, um, and hairy pits. But I do have a fabulous waxing lady in uh, Footscray. And the first time I went there, she said to me, you want a Brazilian? And I'm like, nah. She goes, why not? She said, you might not be able to look young up here, but down here, you can look young forever. <laughs> I'm into sci-fi. I really like to keep up with the uh, artificial intelligence uh, developments. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you're aware, but they're making some kick-ass realistic sex robots out there. Sex robots, women, watch out. You need to check it out. Anyway, I hear that they're making a Trump Deluxe model. It comes with a 3.5 litre bladder capacity. And each order also comes with a complimentary litre of purified prostitute piss as approved by Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Golden showers till the gangsters come home. <laughs> I'm into water sports, actually. Uh, I like lap swimming, although I do not like lap swimming behind heavily pregnant women, lest their waters break and I cop a mucus plug in for it. How am I going to get that stain out of the lycra, let alone my soul? <laughs> uh, clothing shopping. When I go shopping for clothes, I comfort myself when I'm purchasing stuff uh, manufactured in a third world country. Um, I like to think I'm providing support for textile slavery rather than sexual slavery. Because it's all about choices, people. <laughs> Um, my grandma taught me to cook. Unfortunately, last year she passed away of a terminal illness. It was pretty horrendous. She was in a lot of pain, but I really, I had to be there at the end. I, it was very important for me to be there uh, when it was all over. Because, do you know how much you can get for Oxycontin on the streets these days? <laughs> and finally, <laughs> I was raised by wolves. Uh, you might think this is a bit of a strange thing, but being raised by wolves is actually quite, uh, has some advantages. I'll never suffer from female baldness. <laughs> Maybe. Um, it was a bit disconcerting, though, when your mother was hankering for beaver and all she could get was moose. Uh, my mother was the first octo mother, five litres, yes. And uh, that was pretty lucky, actually, that my daddy wolf was able to lick his own balls. Suck his own dick, because mum's cervix was nigh on round her knees. <laughs> and finally, uh, being brought up by wolves had, the, you know, it really showed the advantage of the family that hunt and track together, stick together. You can just ask the Malats. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.